man, I'm easy too cool. E A Z Y, the number two cool all together, man. I just a uh, cat from Chicago, man, doing music all my life, really. Uh, started out writing poetry in grammar school, really. And then it just transversed into rapping and stuff, adding music and stuff. I'm just a real creative person, really. Okay. So, Okay. Basically, I just been keeping it up with it. I just been going with it. Okay. And it been paying out now. It's really paying out. Real, real. Okay, yeah. definitely, man. So, uh, anything you want to ask him, Shayla? So, how do you see it panning out? And what would you consider yourself an artist? Do you call yourself a rapper? See, yeah. What I'm you glad you asked that question. See, I, I consider myself an artist. Because okay. it takes a lot more than just rapping and spitting wild and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Artists are like... A, a masterpiece basically and if you want to make a masterpiece you got to put work into it so that's all i do is the teamwork the music is teamwork really you know you got engineers you got producers you got people to make the beats and you got the, the artists so everybody come together make one piece and everybody like it so it's art that's true i like that answer that's original i haven't heard that before okay so what do you feel like you're gonna bring to the music game that has not been brought before okay see i have everybody Nowadays on this little bubble gum, mumbling, <laughs> rapping and stuff, like it's this was hot right now, but like everybody go with the period right now. So whatever was hot is just hot at, at the moment. So I figured a way to like not down dumb myself down. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, dumb myself down, I just found a way around of still using my bars and still making it relevant to the time periods and stuff. Right? Okay. So yeah. So it's gonna be that little, little Uzi Vert, little uh, yeah. uh, uh, See, little it's feel, the dance. Cool, but still, though, you, you, you still gonna hear some vibes, though. Okay. So, so you got yeah. the bars and the feel yeah. that go along with it? Yeah. Okay, that's important. Okay, well, definitely, man. Now, let's talk about Out of My Face. What, what, what came about? How that came about? Man, Out of My Face. I made this basically just for, like, everybody. To, this, this is for everybody, because everybody got that one time, one person in their face with BS that you ain't even got time for. Like, man, I don't already got my own like, issues. Like, just be getting out of my face. Just get out. <laughs> get away. <laughs> so, basically, I just came up with the hook, and then after that, it was a rap. It was like the story just fell in line after that. So, yeah. Okay. A lot of people feeling it. I, um, I'm working with this cat overseas and stuff. He made the beat for it, actually. Uh, New Street Melody. He real talented and yeah. stuff. Like, people overlook people overseas, but they doing their thing over there, too. Honestly. Yeah. What do you say your biggest networking tool and your biggest tool getting out there and meeting people yeah. as an artist is? Networking is a real big key in this, this thing right now. Mm -hmm. Cause like it ain't even about like your bars no more. If you got time, you could be sitting on the hottest song right now, but nobody here if you ain't got no right set on networking. So basically I've just been hitting up social medias and like, hey, y'all seen me last night. I've just been trying to do shows, get my name out there, my face and stuff. Cause people won't, hear the music, but they ain't, they need a face to put it to and stuff sometimes, so I just do my little dance, slow down, see I don't got a little personality, I ain't just serious, and stuff. I'm a fun person, really, really solid. Keyword, personality, yeah. that's important. Okay, definitely, man. Now, who would you like to work with going into the future? Man, see, I really want to work with Wayne before he started exiting after the little rap game, because <laughs> He, he been iffy and so you know he been he been said that he was gonna quit and he retired and he wanted to come back you know Jay Z did the same thing mm -hmm. but both of them two cats I want to work with them before they decide to just step out completely for real for real uh, I want to work with uh, Chance the rapper for one thing I look up to him because he he holds the city down I'm, for real not, just because I'm from Chicago he holds it down like he do a lot of stuff for Chicago. I want to um, work with Kanye. Any Chicago artist, really. Based on Dreezy, I definitely got to do a track with her. She hot right now. Okay. She's going to be hot for a long time, too, but she got it. Okay, definitely there, man. Well, whenever, uh, well you want to introduce the track uh, out of my face? Hey, man, this is your boy, Easy Too Cool. You finna listen to my new track, Out of My Face. Just check it out. Definitely. Let's go. Side Town Number Radio, DMP Nightlife, Sailor Marie. DJ Malone. Let's go. Let go! Hey. Yeah, my face. Big on my face. Yeah, yeah. Face. my face. Yeah, yeah. Big on my face. Yeah, yeah. Big on my face. Yeah, yeah. This shit can't go. Big on my face. Yeah, yeah. 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 Big you don't want time of this break. You gon' know my face. Ain't nothing time of the play. I'ma just think of my day. Feelin' that to my day. You gon' know my face.
Been out of town today. You on the bottom of the gates. You don't want time of the spray. You go out of my face. Man. Out of my face. Out of my face. <laughs> it's just, man, people just be tired of BS. So, man, this is just for everybody that just ain't got no time for no BS in your face. Real. People always be coming over like, hey, let me hold someone. Hey, remember you owe me a... Man, get out of my face. <laughs> get out. So Definitely. Ran with that. Story fell in place. So, everything just fell in place, really. Out of my face, like, yeah, that's going to be a hit. <laughs> Okay, so what's your process for creating music and how long have you been creating music? Man, I've been creating music, I'll probably say since like seventh grade, eighth grade, you know, how everybody started with the little mini mic and <laughs> the little computer program and stuff and then it just graduated to like the big equipment and stuff, you know. I took it ser more serious. Okay, really? you mentioned people. poetry. Yeah, I started out with poetry. I was on my little Wale stuff at first. Okay. <laughs> The and then thing. it just transgressed. I mean, you know, you live a lifestyle so you speak about it. So I just spoke about what was going on in my life. So stuff was going on in my life to change. So my music changed. Definitely. Okay. I like how you said that, though. Stuff was going in his life to change. And then his music changed. So that means you keep it real. Yeah, that means that you yeah. can you can be transparent with yourself, man. Yeah, you don't want nobody calling you out on your stuff. I mean, look what happened to him. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna say no name. I ain't even gonna, but you know, you know who I'm talking about. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, as far as producer wise, who would you like to work with? Producer wise, man, it's been like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Metro Boomin. I wanna mess with him and uh, Future. Uh, DJ. what's his name? Zay Tobin. Or Zay Tobin. No, not Zay Tobin, but the one to be dancing all the time. Not in his video, little no, young kid. Esco. Esco, there yeah. DJ Esco. He look like he's fun to work with. I ain't he do, and he got the head and everything. Turn up with him and make the track. <laughs> hey, you listen, hey, I'm trying to work with you. Any videographers, video directors, video models, models uh, in general you want to work with? You know what? Honestly, anybody want to work with me, I won't work with them. Because they want to okay. work with me, then it's for a reason. So, hey. So I'm gonna bring my best, y'all bring y'all best. We gonna make some work together. We gonna we gonna make it happen. But as far as videos, I, I'm willing to work with anybody, especially if you're from Chicago, because I'm trying to just I'm bringing everybody over Chicago. Because I went out to Atlanta for like two years. Everybody mm -hmm. worked together out there. I ain't yes. trying to I ain't even trying to flex on my city, but everybody know how Chicago is. Everybody be trying to hate, so I'm just trying to. Kill that hate. And solo. I'm trying to kill. Yeah, I'm trying to kill that hate. Bring everybody Bring together. Like together I said, teamwork. Music is teamwork. Definitely, teamwork makes the dream work. That's that's what they say. Yeah. So let me so let me ask you this now. As far as like, where would you want to perform? If you could perform anywhere, where would it be and why? Madison Square Garden. Why? Cause I want to fill it up, and I want to see all them people turning up, having a good time to something I made. There ain't nothing better than that feeling. Just have some, seeing somebody enjoy something that you work hard for. So yeah, that Madison Square Garden or any big stadium that that that's impossible to fill up. I want to fill it up and do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, man. Um, as far as. Well, let me ask you this. What, what part of Chicago are you from? Where are you from? Man? South Side. South Side, what part? Yes, sir, I'm from around 95th. 95th? Yeah, Cal Calumet? Around State. Oh, okay. Shout out to Prince Park and Nine Five Boys. All I, I used to stay in 115th from Perry way back. Oh, okay. See, yeah. see I'm a Hickey's back, but I was from point. A to about 10, mm. I was in the Ickies. Yeah. Well, you already know about that life. You about that life. Everybody about that life. I don't care what nobody. Uh, hey, hey. You don't look like it, no. but I swear. I yes. Say, but do you know what, though? The Ickies <laughs> was one of them type of things. It's like, it's like you wouldn't know unless you lived in there. You know what I'm saying? If you never lived in, you know, the projects or whatever, or just... It's just, their mind state is different. Mm -hmm. So um, I knew if I was a grown up in there, I would be dead by now. I ain't going to lie to you, G. But n let me ask you this. Now, in Chicago, I feel like Chicago has a stigma. Mm -hmm. The stigma is, is that I feel like people in Chicago don't support their own. They don't. It's sad to say that. It really, like I said, I've been out to Atlanta. Atlanta for like two years, I've been doing my music out there. And once they find out you're doing music, oh, you do music, I do music too. Or if, you don't, if they don't do music, they're like, oh, I know so and so do music, they'll hook you up. They like to trade like and networking. barter. Yes. That's all, that's all it is, networking. So, out here it's like, 
I mean, it's so much talent out here. That's probably what it, what it is. There's so much talent out here. Everybody going ahead and ahead and ahead against each other. But instead of doing that, they just need to just bring their heads together to come up with something. Yeah. Come up with a team or some power team, whatever. Real. You know how young money is? A whole bunch of talented people. Why we just can't create some Chicago team and just beast everybody out? Well, why do you think that is? Why do you think we can't come together? It's because everybody just, it's their they ego. Mm. That's what it is, their ego. It's like they they got a, a certain standard to set to themselves and, and other people in their neighborhood. And instead of trying to set themselves um, to a higher standard besides just the hood, they just they just limit themselves to that. So they fight hard for their hood instead of just fighting hard for their music or what they love and stuff. And if they really love music, then they won't have no issue with what what the other person is or what gang he in or nothing. Like if he hot and you hot, then just come together and make a track. Not all like, oh, I don't mess with him because yeah, he stay in another neighborhood. <laughs> And you stay in another neighborhood. That's you like don't three blocks from you on the low. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, really Facebook do. and Twitter, everything, man. I, I want people to know you, bro. Man, Facebook is E E A Z can rap. That's the last name. Can rap. Cause I can. <laughs> well, why 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 say you can't rap then? I said E's can rap. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah. oh. I, Okay. E A Z can rap. Okay. Uh, for all those slow listeners, spell that just in case. Cause we went, <laughs> we had listeners went to Cook County. It's E A Z and then it's C A N R I A P. You'll find me. Definitely, man. And Instagram is um, easy to cool. E A Z Y, the number two cool all together. And for anything else, same thing. SoundCloud. You can Google me. Uh, iTunes. I'm on iTunes and everything too. Uh, out of my face on everything. So if you're looking for that track, just type in Easy Too Cool or Out of My Face O U T T A. 